Hi guys, this is Tara Sataria. You're watching me on Bollywood Hangama. So do subscribe and hit the bell icon. On huge popular demand, we have with us uh, Tara Sutaria. Um, she has uh, just been uh, basking in the glorious success of Student of the Year Part 2 and she has loads and loads of exciting stuff coming up. Pleasure having you back on Bollywood Hangama. Thank you so much. How has life changed post uh, Student of the Year Part 2 for you? Life has actually changed, I think, drastically. It feels like a bit of a blur because wherever mm. we're going, I feel like people suddenly, you know, care so much about what we're wearing, where we're eating, who we're seeing. Mm. It's like, there's just, and it's so nice because wherever I go, I was at PVR the other day and our songs were playing, mm. uh, you know, at the cinema. People were constantly asking for pictures. So it's sweet. It's like a sudden drastic change mm. that that feels really cool. What bothers you more? That what are you wearing? What are you, who are you, whom are you seeing? What is the question that bothers you more? It, nothing really bothers me. It's kind of flattering. It's sweet. It's new. So it's it's exciting right now. When you saw yourself for the first time on the big screen uh, in Student of the Year, what was your reaction? The first time I saw it, we were at um, we were at PVR. It was mm. just Ananya, I think Tiger and I and Puneet. And it was a very late, uh, it was after the last show and we saw the trailer actually for the first time. Mm. I got so emotional and I'm as it is a Scorpio, so I'm naturally very emotional. I started crying and Ananya was like, that you crying this is a happy thing and I was just so so excited and mm. it felt uh, it felt otherworldly it felt very cool all right so 19 November is your birthday yes it is, it is one thing that I found very interesting was that um, when you were asked recently in a, in a Google quiz uh, that um, which is the movie that changed your life you changed you said uh, Bohemian Rhapsody yeah you absolutely love yeah. Freddie Mercury yeah tell me why 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 would you um, uh, be s such a passionate well I think there's so many reasons that I chose that film um to, to answer that question it mm. was uh, a Freddie Mercury's Parsi was Parsi I'm a Parsi um I've watched the film I think six or seven times when it came out I mm. knew enough about his life but I just connected so much with the story the music mm. I mean Queen is a legendary band mm. it's just I don't know something about the way the film was was executed it just connected with me and I just think it, it changed my life in, in so many ways right it was outstanding I think and and Rami Malik he, he yes. won a you won an Oscar, Oscar for that and what a deservedly performance. Deservedly so. Absolutely what a performance. incredible performance. Yeah. Right. So, you've been a Queen fan? Of course. What, what sort of music have you grown up on? Uh, well, apart from Queen, just Michael Jackson, a lot of actually artists from the 50s, Frank Sinatra, even, you know, later on 70s, 80s, Diana Ross, Lionel Richie, mm. uh, all kinds of artists, Barbara Streisand, mm. um, so many. All right. So, what is it uh, that, that fascinates you more, movies or music? considering that you've dabbled in both. And you started um, off as a musician, first of all. Yeah. Um, mm. I started singing when I was five. So I always, if you maybe if someone had asked me this question when I was much younger, I would have always said, I'm going to be a singer and that's it. Mm. Or, or maybe performed, uh, you know, in musical theatre on the West End or Broadway or something like that. But I feel like in the last few years, especially since just before I met Karan, which was before when I was 19 or 20, mm. um, that's when I completely, you know, I changed and I feel like, it's for the better because I've really broadened and widened my horizons in a sense. I feel mm. like now acting and music are on par for me. So mm. I can't really choose, but both are something that I want to pursue. And I believe uh, you used to, you accompanied uh, your mother She was when she was learning opera singing at the yeah. age of seven from what I understand. Five, yeah. Five yeah. or so, yeah. 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 So I think that must have been quite a quite an experience as well. That was how, I have a twin sister, so that was how both of yes, us yeah. got into music mm. in the first place, I think. You know, we, she used to perform at like the NCPA and other, you know, venues in Bombay that are just very iconic in terms of music. So we'd accompany her. Then I started getting obsessed with music. So I did my first opera when I was seven. Uh, it was this French opera. And I think that's how I just got into all of this. All right. So uh, how is it that you are just, uh, how are you coping with the expectations that are there with you um, from so many people? Because both in terms of music as well yeah. as uh, movies, because you started off uh, in, in Bollywood as a singer. And now you're making your debut as a as an actor. Yeah, I think when it comes to expectations, we've been lucky because we started off with with student, and that's mm. something. Despite everyone thinking that there's so much expectation with that kind of film, with the kind of franchise it is, mm. uh, there were no expectations and and pressure in, uh, as such from Dharma, especially uh, from Karan, from Puneet, or whatever. We were just doing what we had to do, and we enjoyed it. And mm. now the film is done. I feel like outside of that, obviously there are expectations. I think. Uh, I'm very excited for the next few months and for the next year, actually, because I think my second and third films that will soon release, I think that will 
really do something for me and for people that are watching the kind of films that I'm doing. So that's something that I'm very excited about. I hope that I fulfill the kind mm. of expectations that will come with the second and third projects. Tell us about your second and third project. Second is um, is Marjava. Mm. It's it's completely different to the world of Student of the Year two. It's mm. and that's what I'm most excited about is because I think when you when you get launched in a in a film like like ours like student you know people see you in a certain way they think oh it's it's just a fun light film which it is mm -hmm. but then they perhaps may not expect you to do something drastically different in your next year think that you will be capable enough to do something Gee. big mm -hmm. so i think that uh, marjava will hopefully do that for me i think it's i can't say very much about the role because it's a very specific kind of role but it's something i don't think most uh, young actors would do or are doing or have done actually i haven't seen it uh, ever in fact, i can tell you one thing uh, with a lot of uh, surety i don't know anything about the film but mm -hmm. um, you may not have and you will never be working with a director who smiles so much oh my god the way milab zaveri does everyone says that yeah. he's like this sweet uh, you know teddy bear he's always laughing always he's also happy scorpio. he's also a scorpio yes and he's he's wonderful um, mm. And yeah, you're right. Everyone actually says that about him. Um, no, so Marjava is very dramatic. It's very mm. emotional. It's a love story. It's uh, it's definitely something I didn't think I would do right after mm. student, but then I heard it and I was, you know, sobbing in the narration. And I was like, I have to do this film. Mm. It's fantastic. So I'm very very excited. What is the third project? The third project is is a remake of this film called RX Hundred, which is a South film that we're doing uh, with. Uh, Sajid sir, Sajid Narivala, Nari and mm. we're doing it with um, Milan Lutria. He's directing it, and uh, it's Ahan Shetty's debut film. Right. So we're doing the film together. I'm very excited. We've just started working on it. And, and you guys are together on Eid as well, I, I believe. Yeah, recently. we were together on Eid. Yeah, we celebrated that at the office. Right. Yeah. So Sunil Shetty's uh, son. Yes. Ahan Shetty. Shetty. All right. Yes. That you also auditioned for Aladdin for Jasmine's role, That's and right. you're almost selected as well. Yeah, from yeah, what I understand. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a huge success. What really happened? Along with Student of the Year, I feel like the best experience of my life would be Aladdin. I was in mm. in London for a while training with actually the person who's in the film now, Meena Masood. He's playing Aladdin. So we were, you know, doing workshops and training musically and uh, working with Guy, who was the director of the film, and it was absolutely amazing because you know you grow up watching films like Aladdin and other Disney films, and then to actually you know be a part of it. Mm. It feels surreal. It was an amazing experience, and now, of course, Naomi Scott is playing Jasmine, and she's right. amazing. I've seen the film three times, and uh, oh, right. still a big fan. And it's a huge success all across the world. It is. It's doing so well, mm. and it's amazing. Mm. Really, really and good. you've been part of Disney shows, so I think that is one of the. This factors Disney Connect is just constantly there through my life. Right. I think, which is great. But I'm sure that uh, you, you'd love to be a part of more Hollywood projects, if possible. For sure, for sure. I so think that opened up the door for me. Mm. Uh, so fingers crossed, I I could hopefully do something like that. Right. Soon. Considering you are a you are a singer and very well versed with the Western form yeah, of yeah, music, yeah. I think that can come in quite handy for you as well. I think so. I think so. Which is why I think something like Aladdin was it was quite a shock that that they were open to you know people from across the world auditioning for that role, mm. which is a great thing uh, in fact. So I think it's opened the doors for all of us uh, in India and and world over. We have a request from. Um, not only India but all across the world. That two lines of your singing that will oh, be God. really amazing. Okay, so then I'll I'll sing two lines from from Aladdin from from one of the songs from Aladdin. Sure. So this Great. is uh, a whole new world, which is one of the major songs oh in in the film. I can show you the world, shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide a whole new world? A hundred thousand things to see. I'm like a shooting star. I've come so far. I can't go back to where I used to be. Okay, that's too nice. <laughs> You're someone who's uh, who has come from outside. And um, just, there are so many, I think, actresses who've, who've made it so big. Uh, Priyanka, Deepika, they've, they've made it so big. They've, yeah. they've come from outside. Um, so tell us, um, is, it, is it a bit of an advantage or is it a bit of a disadvantage if you're not uh, the insider? I think, for me personally, I don't think there's been any disadvantage. Mm. Um, no one's sort of treated me differently or anything. I, a, lo a lot of people ask me that question. Mm. Um, 
especially you know because of the the kind of debate that one has constantly with you know in, in the in the media about dharma and nepotism and all of these silly things that people constantly talk about mm. i feel like it's never been so with me it's been a breeze it's been fantastic and i don't know this whole concept of insider outsider baffles me sometimes because i'm just like we make half of the problems up ourselves it's not it's not it's not it's not been like that for me it's been mm. really really amazing and i've got three films coming out back to back and i feel like if it was anything else if it's the way people that you know describe it to be it, i wouldn't be doing you know two or three films so soon so i think it's all about talent like bibi shahrukh khan a bit hard work uh, talent all of these amitabh bachchan so all of them they've absolutely they've survived because of their talent at absolutely. the end of the day yeah and even 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 within the industry uh, people have wonderful things to say about you your your attitude and the fact that you're so down to earth i'm genuinely very very shy and i especially last year before mm. you know when we were just getting into student i was so scared because i realized that sometimes because i don't speak very much when i'm out in public or mm. you know at a party or things like that people may misconstrue it to be snobbery or whatever but it's not that at all i'm just really quiet well, i like being by myself and i just get very shy to open my mouth and say anything but i think this last year because we met so many people you know promotions and things like that you meet people you get out of your shell i think that that's really helped me and i've mm. i'm genuinely just constantly shy into myself that's how i am your fellow students uh, tiger and ananya they have to say that your proficiency with english language is is oh legendary God. everyone says that yeah so i love english i mean i love hindi right. and i love english but, yeah. right so um tell us how you developed that and apparently you you met uh, shashi tharoor as well Oh, we, we, spoke we spoke about, about that in the last, yeah, 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 the last yeah. interview. That was so funny. Um, Tiger and Ananya made me so nervous in that interview. I don't know what I said half of the answers. Um, no, but I love Hindi and I love English both. I don't know. I think it's a Parsi thing. I think most Parsis yes. tend to think they're British only. Yeah. You meet my family, you think that everyone is just very, very British. Um, so I think it just comes from there. But um, I'm absolutely obsessed with Hindi. I wish people would talk about that more instead of this English thing all the time. But right. yeah. That's how it so, is. So, uh, what sort of a Parsi are you? Uh, because I think Parsi is uh, wherever they are, they they tend to be very success driven. They they're doing so well. I think every Parsi is that mad. I know is yeah. mad. All of them are mad. So I'm not getting into that, but uh, <laughs> yes, they, they tend to be very success, successful. Like be it Bhama Nadani, be it Zubin Mehta, be yeah. it be it Freddie Mercury, as sure. you as you just said. Sure. Um, so many of them business and music arts. oriented i think that's yeah. the arts oriented i think my parents yeah. have always inculcated my my twin sister and i we've been raised mm. born and bred in the arts so that, that's why there's no other thing for me to do in life than be in the arts um i think we're definitely all completely cracked and mad mm. um constantly you know cracking these silly jokes and just being ridiculous which i think is lovely Mm. and anywhere i go everywhere where i meet people they're always saying you're parsi that's my favorite community and it just feels so nice Same because here. i'm like you know or oh, really do you my do name you? is faridun so I, 99% so, people feel that i'm a parsi and your last name is Sh- shariaro that's that's a parsi as well that's what so before i so met faridun you i was like oh my god fellow this, parsi yeah, because there's everyone, such few parsis one meets in bollywood all the parsis meet me they're like very happy i was they thrilled be, yeah. i was thrilled but then i found out so, that you're not yeah, i believe that i'm so, not yeah. so yeah but uh, i feel affinity You know, I feel an affinity with Parsi because everyone thinks that I'm Parsi. Good, you must. You so, must. Right. All right. So, um, you also said uh, in one of the interviews uh, that um, your family is extremely close knit and they've been very instrumental in what you've become. So, tell yeah. us um, what 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 uh, it means to have the parents that you have and uh, your sister. I think A, I'm really lucky to have been able to share everything with someone else my own age. To have a twin sister, I think. I don't know if I would be the same person if mm. I didn't have Pia. She's literally completes me in every way. We're completely different Scorpios, though. Where you know, I feel like there are two kinds of Scorpios. Like Pia and Ananya make one kind of Scorpio, I think, and I'm the other kind of Scorpio. Mm. But I mean, I'm really grateful and lucky to have someone like her. Mm. Um, she's the perfect person to come home to in a sense that she'll always bring me back down to earth if I'm feeling a little, you know, too proud about something or things like that. And my parents are just. Um, they've always supported me and pia and everything that we do so mm. i think it's not every day that you have such chilled out such you know warm warm people around and i'm mm. just lucky to have them so how's the experience of being a brand ambassador and um, that must be something new and exciting i'm sure it is it's very cool i'm lucky to be associated with the brands that i am be it uh, you know bobby brown for me was 
just so so exciting which would be for any young girl um it's the first brand i ever bought of makeup myself many many years ago and um to be the the first ambassador and indian spokeswoman for me is a, for anyone i'm great. sure would be a, mm-hmm. a big deal it's a great brand and i hope we're associated for a very long time and of course i'm with pons as well which is iconic and um, it's just been great it's been great your movie has just come out but before that as well uh, you've been a social media sensation um what's the relevance and importance of social media in today's day and age um so a few months ago i wasn't i'm actually very technologically challenged i'm a bit of an auntie you said that i've i've read about i'm that. very bad mm. with my phone um you know till very recently i was trying to figure out how exactly to change my display picture and very basic things like Seriously? that Seriously very bad okay um didn't know how to do bluetooth and all of those things so i'm learning but i feel like instagram for me i i'm not very good with twitter i'm still trying to learn but instagram for me is is a is the perfect platform to connect with people i mm. feel like there's so much i want to do with my social media that i haven't done yet but the next few months for sure you just interacting with people it's a great way to communicate and and connect with people um so more a a, a boon than than a bane for sure the most unexpected comment that you received for student of the year part 2 unexpected comment now um i was actually sitting next to two girls at pvr watching student of the year and they didn't know it was me and uh, there was a certain point in the film that they watched and they were saying very uh, bad things about me and i was right next to them and finally at the end of the film the lights came on and i just like peeked and i looked at them and both of them were like <sighs> and i was like good job guys i can't say what they said but it was very unexpected that's very i think uh, <laughs> yeah. honest of you to say yeah. what is the healthiest and unhealthiest thing that you do on a regular basis well i try to hydrate and drink as much water as possible that mm. could be the healthiest unhealthiest thing i do not believe in diets so i'm just every meal of mine is like biryani butter chicken burgers yeah ananya and tiger don't understand that but that is my that is my diet okay yeah what is something you used to do as a child that you wish you could still do hmm so i used to sing a lot when i was a child i don't sing as much anymore because i'm focusing so much on on the films but that's one thing i'm dying to get back to but you train uh, musically i do i do train but i don't basis. perform as much as i used to right. that's one thing okay yeah. if your love life could be described by a movie name what would it be wow um serendipity three things in siddharth malhotra that any girl can find attractive his lovely eyes um a great voice and he's a very good dancer at a party which song would you sing for following people alia bhat samjhawa shahrukh khan oof oh god i think i just die i would be able to sing um shahrukh khan um I've gone blank because I can't think of any song. Um any any great song from his from his films. Uh anything that comes to mind you can you can sing, mm. mention anything. I'm a big Shah Rukh Khan fan. I Maybe can... like uh, Chura Liya Hai Tumne Jo Dil Ko cuz Okay. Yeah. If you have to sing a song for Siddharth mm. Malhotra. Uh crazy. It's it's a really good song. If you have to sing a song for uh Tiger Shroff. Mm. Liberian Girl. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. My god. <laughs> That's an amazing song. Yeah. This is the next round in rapid fire. Would you rather would you rather have all traffic lights you approach be green or never have to stand in line again? Yeah. Would you rather? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Green. Yeah. Would you rather be able to see 10 minutes into your own future or 10 minutes into the future of anyone else? My own. Would you rather have a romantic film with Ranveer Singh or an action film with Hrithik Roshan? A romantic film with Ranveer Singh. Would you rather take acting lessons from Shah Rukh Khan or fitness lessons from Salman Khan? Oh my god, can I say both? Y- your option if you want to. Both, both, both. Both, okay. Yeah. Quick replies in one word. Please. Okay, one word. Okay. Who is your favorite protagonist from an animated movie? Jasmine. Jasmine, Aladdin. Yeah. Okay. If you're going to chug 2 liter of any beverage, what would it be? Naril Pani. Naril Pani. <laughs> What's your most impressive go-to meal that you can cook? Uh, apple crumble or apple pie. Any nickname that you had as a kid? 
lots. Uh, just one? You can you can mention more if you want. Tarabu or Tarabel. And your parents used to say that? Yeah. Okay. What according to you is your most appealing feature? As in physical feature? Uh, or it can be like It can be personality trait or, or it, physical feature, whatever you want to say. I think my voice. What according to you is your least appealing feature? Least appealing feature would be my ears. I hate my ears. <laughs> The last round in rapid fire is these are the most searched questions about Tara Sutaria okay. on social media. Okay. What is the height of Tara Sutaria? I'm 5'7. Is Tara Sutaria single? Yes. What does uh, Tara's parents do? Uh, my mom, uh, she doesn't teach anymore, but she's a grooming and etiquette consultant, and my dad has an audiovisual lounge. Which makeup brand does Tara Sutaria use? Only and always Bobby Brown. Which car does Tara Sutaria own? Uh, Audi Q3. <laughs> Okay, this is Priya from Delhi. How is Siddharth Malhotra as a co-star and as a neighbor? He is, and I've said this before, he's the best. He's very sweet. Um, we have lots in common and uh, I'm very excited for you guys to see Marjava. As a neighbor, you, you don't want to say anything? As a neighbor, he's just really lovely. He's um, got the sweetest dog and uh, really, really sweet and, and just lovely. Do you have those moments that, do you have those moments that, do you have those moments that? Not so far, not yet. Sun Maya from Bihar. Sid also plays piano. Why don't you post your singing videos with him as you guys are neighbors? Wow, yeah. Uh, does he play I, piano? I, 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 I had no idea. I had no idea. Even I didn't. Hmm, must ask, must ask. Okay, this is Aima from Peshawar, Pakistan. Where do you want to travel the most? Italy. Okay, why? My mother said it's the most romantic, beautiful place in the world. She's been a million times. and I, mm. But she said only when you have a boyfriend go so. This is Nilofar Shaheen from Muzaffarpur. Who's your favorite singer? There are so many. Uh, mm. Favorite singer, Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand, any favorite song from her? You mentioned uh, people, the last interview. People, well. there are so many. There's one is people, uh, evergreen, lots, lots. Okay, this is uh, Kul Rakshita. Your f okay favorite singer you mentioned. Your favorite designer and destination. Destination, I think you mentioned Italy. Yeah. Any city in Italy? Uh, hmm. There are so many. Oh, I want to go to Capri. I want to go to Positano. I want to go to oh, there are lots of places. Um, okay, designer. Favorite is there are lots, but um, here I feel like. I love Anamika Khanna, uh, Abu Sandeep, Manish Malhotra, list is endless. This is Ashrar from Patna. Mm -hmm. Describe the next five years of your life and your plan. The next five years of my life will involve uh, lots of movies, lots of music, um, lots of dance and hopefully an incredible love life to go with all of that. Hiza from Kurdistan, Iraq. Describe your Marjava character in one word. Can't wait to see you and Sid Malhotra on screen together. Thank you. Um, in one word... Um, oh, I'm trying not to give anything out. Um, vulnerable. Interesting. Muskan from New Delhi. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when someone mentions food? Mutton biryani. <laughs> you're, you're a mutton, mutton biryani obsessed, person? I'm obsessed, yeah. Shweb mm -hmm. Qureshi from Mumbai. Will she take up challenge of doing different roles out of the box like Deepika in Chapak? Um, absolutely. Um, I think it's a really exciting time for, for, for women in the movies and I'm looking forward to I think you'll see that in the next film and the third. Uh, very, very different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rachana from Pune, uh, you're a superb singer and as we know, you and Arman Malik used to train together. Can we expect a single from both of you? It will be surely a smash hit. Well, I hope so. It's quite funny. Arman is actually the, the voice of Aladdin in Hindi uh, in India. And anyway, we're, we're hoping to do something very, very soon. We've been singing forever with each other. So maybe a duet very soon. Achha, it, it is a possibility? In, in a movie or like a Either in a movie single? or maybe we'll come out with something else. Oh, great. Yeah. This is Bishal Ghosh from Guwahati, Assam. Hi Tara, love your voice uh, since Sweet Life of Karan and Kabir uh -huh. and Oye Jassi apart from RX100 remake. Mm -hmm. What is your upcoming project? Well, there are some very, very exciting projects out there. I don't, uh, I don't think I can shoot for anything till I'm done with RX100 because that's going to be over the next few months. But uh, you'll see very soon, fingers crossed. Okay, so um, how do you respond to 
people who have seen Sweet Life of Karan and Kabir and Oi Jassi because I think these uh, yeah. these serials I think were really appreciated on yeah, yeah. on Disney primarily. Yeah. So how do you respond to that? I think it's really sweet and whenever it documents your teenage life as well. It does actually. Right. Sometimes I forget about it. Sometimes I forget that I've done all of that. And when I go out, and even when we're promoting student, and we meet so many young people in college, or who've even you know passed out of college, they'd be like, "We grew up with you, you know, watching you, and now we're like your age or older." Some a lot of them are older, and I'm just like, okay. And I kind of feel a little old when they say that, but um, it's very sweet because they're literally like, we feel like we've grown up alongside you, and now to see you in the movies and see you doing things ahead, it feels really, really nice right. and sweet. In fact, as I've al- always told you, um, that I, I, when I saw that video of yours at <laughs> of entertainment, yeah. Kudbi Karega with uh, Farah Khan <laughs> and <laughs> the way you sang, what you sang, I was oh. like totally blown away. That. That's very sweet, but it, it was, was very amazing. long. <laughs> Alright, this is Dilip from Bangalore. When will you work with Ar- Karthik Aryan? Karthik, first I'll let Ananya work with him, then maybe I'll work with him, yeah. So is is there like a pact that you guys have? Or no, no, but like they're so busy shooting their film. Maybe, maybe after. We'll see. Okay, but he's he's a he's a very popular guy. He is. He's Everyone extremely. loves Karthik. He's mm. very sweet. Okay, this is Burhan from Dubai. Which historical figure would you like to play on screen? Ooh, that's an interesting question. Which historical figure? Wow, that's a tricky one. I haven't thought much about that um anything that comes to your mind it can be international figure as well it can be um, anyone from the international stream th- so this is an international uh, person that i'm thinking Great. of so th- there's this iconic very legendary um opera singer her name is uh, maria Callas, and i feel like some people say kalas some people say Callas. if i could ever have the honor of playing her that would make my 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 life that's wonderful on. yeah Okay, this is Rahul Nayak mm-hmm. from Mumbai. Hey Tara, do you enjoy memes on social media? Ever saw a meme on you or some other funny um, which made you smile? I think all of the memes that they made for student of the year made all of us laugh hysterically. Um, so I used to get very, um, I used to feel bad sometimes earlier when we'd get trolled and things like that. But I think over time you learn to appreciate and find it funny. So now I, I scroll through Instagram and I'm constantly looking at the memes. So it's fun. It's fun. How important is it to have a sense of humor and, and the ability to laugh at one's own self? I think it's the the most important thing, especially in our line of work or any line of work that involves the amount of attention that we get. I mm. think it is the single most important thing to have um, forever. Tanhar Alam Atiba from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Mm-hmm. Popularity Amazing. Thank you guys. By which Bollywood actress you got inspiration to join Bollywood? There are many. Again, um, I mean, I feel like the 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 skill and the beauty of of the actress actresses, um, you know, right from way before even till now. When you look at Deepika and you look at um, you know even Priyanka and you see the kind of work that they're doing, um, I think. There, there's, there's Madhu Bala, there's Meena Kumari, there's Deepika, there's Priyanka. I mean, the, the list is endless. They're mm. all beautiful, empowering women and they've inspired me. Great. Okay, uh, this is Mahira from Bareilly, UP. I uh, want to see you work with Varun Dhawan. There was one, uh, there was one project. Um, I don't know whether that's you know going to happen or not, but uh, he's amazing and he's mm. so talented. I hope maybe some dance based thing or something like that at some point. Will okay, be really so cool. that project you, you guys were in talks for? Or maybe it's still I feel up. like I should <laughs> All right. Fingers okay. crossed we'll see here. But I think he's a he's a great guy. Yeah. So this is Ria Malhotra from Mumbai. Mm-hmm. This is an interesting one. Who has the best off screen chemistry? Ananya and Tiger or you and Tiger? Ye dostiyan tulwane wali wale sawal hai. Maine select nahi kiya hai, meri team ne select kiya hai, to usme mera koi contribution nahi. Thanks team. Uh Ji. I don't know if it's off screen chemistry, but I feel like Tiger and I have uh, a lot of things in common. And so naturally, we'd be maybe a little bit more chatty with each other. Um, you know, we just get along with regards to certain things more. Ji. I've been told that we have, and I, I know we do, we have amazing chemistry. So I think because oh, of right. that. Yeah. Okay, this is Rakshit Jain from Kolkata. If you, got, if you get stuck in the middle of a bridge and you have two routes to choose, from one is acting and other being singing, what would you have had chosen? Lots of love. No, I get it. Other thing is, I... How do you choose now? Acting and music are both so important to me. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't. <laughs> right now, acting. 
for the next year or two i would say acting great yeah all right so uh, uh, it was wonderful talking to you thank and you. Uh, so thank you so much lovely thank talking to you, you so and uh, so. all the best wishes for everything that you're going to be doing thank and uh, thank you so much thank, thank you everybody thank, thank you, you much. so much that's all we have from bollywood ama keep on watching hi guys this is tara sitaria you're watching me on bollywood hangama so do subscribe and hit the bell icon